So this question comes from Darphil. Um, I really like to watch your videos. I like computer technology and programming. In the future, I would like to get an IT degree, but I am not a math genius. I don't know, is it worth to overcome math problems or find something else? I would like to know your opinion. So this is a big question that comes up if you want to go into IT, information technology, or IS, information systems. But Eli, I suck at math. And don't worry. I suck at math, too. Uh, when I went to get my bachelor's degree, the only math class I took was a college-level statistics class. And yeah. <laughs> I passed. I, I, I passed. I will say that. I passed. Um, and so, yeah, math doesn't actually come up very much at all in IT. Does it come up at all in IT? Like, the math that you have to do in IT is so esoteric and weird. Um, even math people don't necessarily know what we're doing. Like, when you're doing uh, subnet masking, one, you rarely ever in your entire career are actually going to have to do subnet masking. And even when you do, it's this weird binary thing that really doesn't have a whole hell of a lot to do with, with what you would normally consider math. Um, so, yeah, math doesn't come up. Again, a lot of people really worry. They're like, oh, Eli, Eli, I'm not good at math. Can I go into IT? And the reality is math just functionally doesn't come up. Uh, when you're dealing with Active Directory, user groups, group policies, that kind of stuff, math doesn't come up. Uh, with most of the networking and routing and all that kind of stuff, a tiny bit, maybe maybe a tiny bit of tiny bit of math. Uh, but again, it's this weird esoteric crap that you wouldn't learn uh, anyway. Um, so math in IT, information technology, uh, information systems does not come up. Now, again, whenever we talk about computers, Eli, I want to do computers. Um, we then do have to talk about things like computer science. So IT or IES is different than computer science. Uh, computer science is actually where you do learn how to program um, and create things like operating systems and drivers and all that kind of stuff. If you can do it, go into a computer science program, it will most likely be very heavy on math. Uh, the reason is, is because you are learning a science. That's one of those things people really don't realize is like they think when you go into computer science, you're learning programming, um, which yes, is one of the things that you learn. But computer science is in fact a science. It's a science just like biology is a science and chemistry is a science and physics is a science. Uh, so when you go in there, you're going to have to learn math because whether or not you really need need it, it's a science, and therefore they're going to shove it in your head. Uh, why I bring that up is because if all you want to do is programming, um, then you don't necessarily need to know math. Uh, when you get into to programming, web development, and a lot of these things, uh, math doesn't come up a lot. Um, you know, if you're playing, if, if you're creating video games, and, and this sprite has to be the, uh, the distance from this sprite and this sprite. And like you have all this stuff moving around on a screen, you're doing a video game type thing. Uh, you need to know math there uh, because there's all these weird calculations on if this object is here, then this object needs to be 30% farther away from this object than it is from this object. It gets into a whole bunch of mess. So in video games, you do need to know math. But in the other things, like if you're going to be creating the equivalent of the next Facebook, uh, social networking apps, um, database type apps, all that kind of stuff, you you also really don't need a lot of math. So really, if you're going to go into computers, uh, you need to be good at math. You need to be good at math uh, going into computer science. They're just going to beat you over the head with math. If you go into information technology, doesn't really matter. If you go into information systems, same basically thing. It doesn't go, really matter. And if you just go and you self-study programming, also doesn't really matter. Uh, as far as should you get better in math, um, I will say <laughs> the answer will always be yes. I mean, being good at math, there is no downside to that. It's not like, oh, you're good at math. We're not going to hire you as a network administrator. You're too good. You know calculus. Um, no. Um, the more you know math, the easier uh, a lot of the technology will be. The reason is, is because remember, we as technologists, basically what we're dealing with is logic problems. We're, we're, we're figuring out uh, answers to the, these, these, these problems. And so the more math you know, the better you get at, uh, at understanding how to solve problems. Uh, so it's definitely a good thing to know math. I mean, know, learn all the math you are comfortable learning, uh, but otherwise, from a real professional standpoint, uh, I suck at math. I really do. Like, 
Yeah, that that's not a joke. I, like literally, I'm so bad at math. Um, well, I'm not whore. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty bad at math. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, we went from pre-algebra to algebra to geometry, and then I was supposed to go to algebra two. And within the first week of Algebra 2, I was lost. So I ended up having to do some like remedial like math class that was even worse than pre-algebra uh, because like algebra and all that kind of stuff was completely over my head. Again, when I, when I got my college degree, I literally got, um, uh, I went to a class in college level statistics and I, I barely passed that. So, and that, that would rightfully like, this isn't, this isn't one of those things where I barely passed it because I was having so much fun drinking and fooling around with girls. And so I, I didn't do the homework. Um, no, <laughs> I just barely passed it. It's like, no, no, I, I actually tried there. That, that was, no, I, yeah, I actually worked on that class and still barely passed it. So, so no, by, by no means do you need to know a lot of math. On the other hand, if you're good at math, learn as much of it as possible because th there is no downside to learning math.